we got ourselves a handy dandy little weight. Now it's time to put this thing and this wind. Oh, we gotta do something with this wind. Let's, it's a terrible intro. Let's get to work. <laughs> What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. And hey, if that was the worst intro we've done so far, smash that like button. Oh yeah, I hope you guys are having a good one. We're getting some spraying done today. We got a little bit of work. We got some herbicide in here. Oh yeah, but we don't have to hit everything. I just need to kill these darn weeds. I refuse to do a whole bunch of spraying. There we go. Yeah, dead weeds. The great thing is pretty much all the weeds, actually I think every bit of the weeds in this field right now are full grown. As a matter of fact, is that, is that putting down a fertilizer state? Yo, hold up. Are we getting an extra fertilizer state for this? Definitely not. <laughs> not, it, not even the littlest bit. But I will say this. Yeah, you know what? We'll just come back and spot. Uh, treat it like spot sweeping. Yeah, spot sweeping. I'm just gonna just spray these weeds, the little ones that we've got here and there. If they pop up, I'm gonna worry about them. This is actually pretty nice. I like the way this weed system works because whenever you got weeds, well, you just go smack them. You hit them. And you got, wait, do I have more weeds over here? You just spot them and they're gone. I really like that. This is done very, very well. You don't have to worry about them again. Boom, 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 boom. Those are hit, and we have no more weeds. However, we got a little bit that could go with some fertilizing, and, well, we've got two fields that are, there's nothing in either one of them. So we need to get to work. So let's get to work. The intros, this is, this is a rough day. <laughs> Moving on. Now the area that we need to fertilize is just right down here along the bottom. So let's get this opened up. Opened up? Yeah. We're just going to keep it going, man. I'm not even going to stop. We're just going to keep it going. So we're going to hit, let's see, I think about three, three runs right here. Something like that. Let's see. Let's see. Workers completed their task, obviously. There we go. And let's wait for it. There it is. It's getting fertilized. See, the thing is, this is where workers come in handy. Like, really, really come in handy. A lot of people don't, you know, they keep judging me and say, fairly though, I will say, uh, and rightfully so. Basically saying, DJ, these fields are too darn small for you to be using workers. Well, the workers are a lot smarter than I am. Uh, I was about to say, uh, I think this worker's stupid though. This worker's just fine. So they're hitting. Some spots that are, oh, those are the areas where I went through with the, uh, the weeder. Uh-huh, okay, so basically is not letting me use fertilizer on these areas. Wow, okay, okay, interesting. I am, so you can only do them at one growth state at a time. I wonder if that means that if weeds, more weeds pop up, while we're doing this part right here, if we're not going to be able to get rid of those weeds. That's only time's going to tell. So we're going to let this worker finish it up. I think they've got one more pass. Let's see. Yeah, they got a little bit of a sliver right here at the top. I think they're going to do just fine as far as picking that up. So let's go over. Let's get the 700 series. And we are going to take care of the other two fields. One needs to be limed and both need to be fertilized. Now, I'm sure that you guys are getting real tired of seeing this thing. And I, I kind of right there with you. I'm tired of using the darn thing. But here's a problem. It's a big problem and something that I haven't seen many other people doing. Now, I've seen them hitting the microphone here. I've seen them taking areas and making them a little bit smaller, making them a little bit bigger, spreading them out. Here's the thing. You see this? This is all the land that we own, right? So we actually have a field that runs right here, as you can see. Well, there's a whole lot more area here that we own than we're using. Same goes for here, except here there's nothing. It's just a mountain. And guess what? We can knock mountains down. Oh, we got the tools to do it, baby. So what we are going to do is slowly but meticulously get rid of all of these trees. When I come through and get these trees down, what we're gonna do then, 
Oh yeah. We're gonna level this whole thing. So in the meantime, you guys know what I'm doing here. All I'm doing is getting rid of the trees using the brooks, which super unrealistic, but it's me we're talking about. Don't get too excited. There we go. So there's one. We're gonna take all these trees. We're gonna get all these trees down and then we're gonna flatten all this out. So that's what I'm doing in the meantime, just getting the trees, that's all. I'll see you when the trees have been gotten. I tried to be smart this time around instead of, wow, did you see that fly? Holy cow, we gotta find that. Oh man, why? <laughs> Literally as soon as I hit record, are you kidding me? Yeah, we found it though. Got it. So what I've done is with the tree stumps, I've came and I've just painted around the tree stump instead of literally painting the entire mountain. Now, granted, we will probably miss two or three stumps. Hey, like this one that I almost missed. However, didn't miss painting it for some reason. And there we go, got that one. So I'm just finishing this up right here. There's, we may even be done, but I think there might be two or three more stumps to go. And then we are gonna bring this entire area down. I'm gonna use a, uh, come on, there we go. I'm gonna use a combination of raising and lowering and smoothing in order to get it just right the way that I want it to be. Aha, I knew I missed one or two. And here is one of the ones that I missed. So as far as wood chips are concerned, well, we've got a few. 459,000 liters of them to be precise. So that's gonna make us a pretty penny come the time. Oh, oh, they got it, all right. That's gonna make us a whole lot of money come time to, uh, to sell those. Again, I'm not exactly sure when we need to be selling those. Uh, got another stump. Uh, well, I forgot to hit record and this entire thing has been a disaster and we're almost out of money. And I need money bad. So we're going to go in and we are going to take out um, a, a, a healthy loan of about $200,000 because I think that's what we're going to need to make this entire thing possible. This is becoming much more of a pain than I originally thought it was going to be. It's not terrible. Don't get me wrong. It's not terrible. And I'm glad we're doing it. However... As you can see, there's some areas that's like, nah, you, you don't own that. You can't, can't do anything. What are you doing? So I need to go in and see if we can buy the area beside this. This area right here, value 152 grand. This is the area that we need to own to do what we want to do. So I'm going to buy that and go in and take out some more of a loan. Now, the great thing about the loan is we can go all the way up to $500,000. Once we're done, we could sell the land that we didn't use, which is the other land, basically asking, to, oh, we can take out a lot more of a loan than I thought we could. How's about we just leave it where we're at for now? And now you can see we can come through here and really do what I wanted to do, which was taking this land and bringing it into each other. Now, this is the only part right here that I'm a little concerned about because there's a lot of a gap right here. There's a huge gap with this. Uh, as a matter of fact, let's bring all that down. That'll work. Some of it, of course, you know, is a little bit higher than you'd like it to be, maybe a little lower than you'd like it to be, but it's all okay. Let's bring that down, down, <laughs> and roll through and smooth it out again. How's this? This needs to be down. <laughs> <laughs> this whole area needs to be a lot, like much, much lower, like down there. Yes. And then now we're going to roll through here and smooth all this out. And hopefully it all kind of makes itself seem like it was supposed to be. And yet it's not working the way I want it to. So I'm going to cut right into the mountain, just like so. And then come through here and smooth all this out and literally just sit here and hold it until the whole thing looks appropriate. This is the way that I do this. Now, of course, there are many, many other ways to do this. If you guys want, let me know down in the comment section below how you go about smoothing out land and owning it. And like I said, we're going to come through here. We're going to create a field with all this extra space because I just don't see the reason in leaving all this the way it is. 
it's just sitting here and I want to use it for property, for, for a field. So that's why I'm trying to get all this smoothed out as much as I can. But this is uh, an absolutely extraordinary amount of money to get this done. Uh, a lot more than I was expecting and a lot more than I was hoping it was going to be. But I should have known because this is an absolute process and a half. Also, let me know if you have done this. I know that when Farming Simulator 19 came out, especially when, uh, was it update 1.1, 1, 1 .1, something like that, whatever whatever the landscaping update was, uh, whenever that came out, a lot of people were doing some really crazy and interesting stuff. And let me know if this is something like, DJ, I did that a long time ago. You are late to the party, brother. What are you doing? Or say, no, I didn't, didn't even think about doing it that way. So again, it's just going through smoothing it all out, bringing land that was low high, bringing land that was high down low, and making it go from there. So I'm going to continue doing this. I'm going to do as best I can to make this as perfect as possible, and we will pick back up when I feel like I've done a good job of doing that. I know this series isn't supposed to be about landscaping. It's supposed to be about just get the work done, but I just cut a mountain down. Look at this. And it looks... Well, okay... It doesn't look that great yet, but we're doing good. So now let's go through and get all of our money back. How's about that? So let's go right here. Boom. Sell that land because I don't want it anymore. So maybe it's flipping it a little bit. Nothing too crazy. However, yeah, we're, we're pretty much out of money at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Save the game. Save. There we go. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about anything bad happening, even though it's already happened. So we've got a loan. <laughs> Actually... We have a total amount of money right now. It says total is negative $117,000. I don't believe that, not for a long shot. However, we are about $30,000 in the hole, which doesn't bode too well for us. So how about this? Let's see, borrow right there. So we have a $70,000 loan at this point. We've got a little bit of money just kind of sitting there hanging out waiting on us. The great thing is there's no floating stumps. I actually got rid of every single stump that we were supposed to. Go figure. I didn't think we'd be able to do it. There we go. Cool. Let's get the plow. I'm legit just going to plow all this up. And here we go. I think this is going to go down as the largest field that we've got on this map, which is going to be really cool. Let's drop this down. I don't think, nope, crop uh, field creation wasn't turned on yet. However, it has been now, and we are rocking through. Again, I've got this thing turned around so we go a little bit faster than, uh, well, than really we should be able to go. About 10 miles an hour. That's the top speed, but generally it stops at around 9, even with the most high-powered stuff that we've got in-game. However, if you turn it around, you get a little bit more speed out of it. So that's the way we've decided to go here. Also, I've got, uh, I kind of drew a line in grass around this area up here. The area that I wanted to keep versus the area that I wanted to be part of the field. And so again, we're just gonna kind of rock through, overlap just a little bit on top of it, just so some of the grass kind of comes through on the field. I think that always looks really cool, but this is this is what we're doing. I cut a mountain down so that we could have a field. I think I've said that like 30 times now, <laughs> but it's so cool. This is something that I wanted to do is when 19 came out. I was like, oh, this thing is just in the way, but what do you do with it? I never had the idea to cut it down. Well, we've got the tools to do it now, and as a matter of fact, we're just doing it now. We just did it. So how's about this? I'm going to finish the headland and uh, probably going to go through and finish plowing up the inside as well. We'll come back, and I'll show you guys what we've done. So the field now. How big is the field? You want to know? <laughs> That's it right there. 24 and 25 a bit bigger than 19 probably not too much bigger but it is significantly larger however we're taking up way more of the area that we own than we were before i know unfortunately i can't use this area this is all mountainous so there's nothing i can do here other than just deleting some of the pathways and i don't really want to delete any of the pathways i think they're there for a reason and so i don't want to delete those however i will demolish a mountain yeah that doesn't really make any sense though does it oh Hey, it's all good, though. You guys know what I do. You're here for a reason. I know. Let's see. What do we need to do now? Well, this is all going to have to be limed. 
Let's take a look just to double check, make sure everything's good. But yes, needs lime. And then we're going to need to fertilize it for our first fertilization state. Here's another issue. I think we might be out of lime. Not completely, not totally. But I think, you know, I don't think we've got much left. So we may have to go buy some. Let's take a look. 6,600 liters. Okay, so we've got enough to fill this up once. And then about 1,100 more liters after that. It might get the entire area. That That's a... That's a big mite, uh, but this is going to be the last time that we need to use lime unless we just keep buying and buying more fields and putting more stuff down. But I think this may be the last time we need lime for a while. Let's go ahead and jump on. Let's get this field done right here. There we go. If we can get in an area where we're not wasting so darn much. Oh, we're being wasteful right now. There we go. Now we're hitting it all. Two thing is the animation kind of goes under the map whenever you hit some bumps. That I do not like because I have no idea where I'm shooting the stuff. Eh, it is what it is. I think it'll be okay. Let's hit these. And, um, yep, we're already at 75% left in here. I know we're being a little bit wasteful, but we are hitting this headland right here. Uh, I think we're going to have enough to do one field. But we're going to need to take our tractor and trailer. We're definitely going to need to get another load of lime. Grab us a little bit of lime here. Boom, boom. Man, how expensive is this? I don't... Oh, this is... <laughs> this ain't going to be cheap at all, man. Well, what are we getting? 3779 and naturally, we're stuck because we're driving a trailer that turns. <sighs> Moving on. Lime's all in. There we go. Good, good, good. Get this put away. And now, we just need to hook back up to the lime spreader and get all that done. <sighs> it's a whole lot. Let's just drop this off right here. That'd be all right for now. It's a whole lot of work, a whole lot of stuff to do. But you know what? At the end of the day, it's all going to be worth it. Every single bit of it. And we had a little bit left in here, too. 944 liters. Go on. Boop, pop that up. Pull under here and fill this up. And then I think... After all that's said and done, we should be pretty close to being finished, at least ready to get these fields done. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to do anything as far as planting goes, like we talked about a little bit earlier. Can't do anything with this, so unfortunately, all we can do is get this done and throw some fertilizer on it. But with all that being said, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not here, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. If you get any ideas, stuff that you want to see here on Ravenport or in Seasons in general, let me know. Also, I know I've been getting a lot of flack about the video yesterday that we did about the Trek 600. I've been trying to use it. A couple of you guys said, just tilt up the front just a little bit. It works perfectly. And then bring it down to get rid of the stop. So I will be giving that a try a little bit off screen here in just a minute. But all that being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.